Tell me. Close your eyes. Count to three. And make a wish. I wish we could stay here. Until the end of time. Do you love me? My only boss. We're sure they're going to turn up. But anything you can tell us will help. Yes, when you're ready. She was young when they met. She was still a girl. Still listen to her mother. He was handsome. They never left each other's side. When you saw them together, they are meant for each other. Two halves of the same person, the same flesh. Where they meet. Oh, he was a soldier? No. The Nazis were moving east. Ukraine was next. He was part of a unit trying to disrupt them, to slow them down. Sabotage. But they were ambushed. The man found him and brought him to an outpost near Odessa. And that is where they met. It was only a few months, but they were closing in. And he helped us to get out. We left that night and eventually a ship here. You got your registration cards at the port? Cards? Immigration. It took seven months, but at the end of it, there he was, waiting for her. Close your eyes. Open light. Must have been hard, moving away, starting again. You never truly leave your home behind, even when it is no longer there. He was still in army and she got a job in hospital. For me, it was this and that, anything. Sometimes you do what you need to survive. Do you love me? Моя любовь. They had their own house, and they were happy. It is enough for her. What happened? He would wake at night. He could not sleep. He never told her what it was, but it was not hard for her to guess. He was the only one survived that night. Friends, brothers, all torn to pieces. Who knows what that does to you? She told you this. A mother and her child have no secrets. He seemed to improve, but it only got worse. Did he hurt her? No. <laughs> But something in her changed. 
she became detached, distant, withdrawn. His darkness became hers. Detective, some kid from up the way found them about an hour ago. Probably here about a day. Is there anyone who's seen them? There were three tracks when we got here. One for the kid, and there's the other two for them. Nothing seems to have been taken. Who's the coroner here? That should be any minute. They got a car? A chef parked just over the ridge. She came to see me last week. Told me he was taking her somewhere, but she would not tell me. Her eyes had faded. She was just a shell. Lost. Get him to check the register. Sir. That was the last time I saw her. My had to be educated. Rather Shakespearean, aren't they? What do you think happened? No, oh, no contusions, outward signs of trauma. So you're looking at a suicide, probably a poison, overdose. Suicide? We're living in desperate times. <clears throat> Some people's just too much to bear. I think this is easier than being overrun by the Japs. He was the only though. Really? Japs should have known better. Symptoms are different from the girls. The blood from the nose. The nasal passages have been stripped raw. What would do something like that? Arsenic. Very strong dose. Which would explain, yeah, discoloration of the nails. <laughs> the chap, however, shows none of that. The way he's holding her hand points to a muscular seizure that would have happened before he died, combined with vomiting. Stains on the tongue. Odd. Very odd. What if they both took something different? Well, neither would be a particularly pretty way to go. His work in the army, do you know what that involved?
military intelligence. Classified. High security. Your daughter, was she on any medication? Was she suffering from any physical pain? No. Nothing? Not that I know of. You said earlier she had no secrets from you. What about yourself? Are you using any... No, I am not. It's a tricky thing. Conaton used to be a pain medication, but... No one could ever send you the dosage right. Take enough of it, darling. It was found in your daughter's possession. It's manufactured in 1926. She would have been four years old then. You have seen her? They're together. Do you love me? You told me something once. A long time ago. Don't fear. I'm here with you. You betrayed me. Found something else she had. Code. Cipher. It's written in your handwriting. I guess you're right about never leaving your home. You were born in Moscow, weren't you? Now we're both unlucky. There's going to be some men coming in, taking you some more questioning. And to identify her body. <laughs> Dispatch come back. We're going to next of kin. your eyes. Count to three. And make a wish. the great 